Hello, we are discussing about gate 1990 ECE paper and this question is related to analog circuits. Look at the circuit diagram given. This is differential amplifier using an op amp. If anything is not specified for the op amp at that time that will be treated as ideal. By default the op amps are going to be ideal we should take. Now we are going to calculate CMRR for this circuit. CMRR means common mode rejection ratio which is the ability to amplify only it specifies the ability to amplify only differential input signals and the ability to suppress the common mode signal ideally differential amplifier always amplifies only differential input signal it never give amplification for the common mode signal that is all common mode signals are going to be suppressed AC is equal to 0 AD is going to be finite but practically differential amplifier also gives some amount of gain for the common mode signals also that will be indicated with AC. So AD is the differential mode gain okay, and AC is nothing but common mode gain. CMRR can be specified as is defined as ratio of AD by AC modulus. Now we are going to calculate CMRR for this circuit. So to calculate CMRR we require AD and AC and for a practical differential amplifier V0 can be expressed as AD VD plus AC VC. So you can express in terms of AD VD AC AC and but what was given is nothing but circuit is in terms of V1 and V2. VD is differential mode input, VC is common mode input. V1, V2 are actual inputs presented the differential amplifier. So you can write the different we know that one VD differential input signal is nothing but V1 minus V2 and common mode signal VC is equal to V1 plus V2 by 2 and if you rearrange at that time you can write it as V1 is equal to VC plus V1 is equal to VC plus VD by 2 and V2 is equal to you can write it as VC minus VD by 2 this you can write so that okay so first step is nothing but you have to express v out in terms of v1 and v2 then v1 and v2 are going to be replacing with these equations then you are going to write the expression in terms of this one so first step is nothing but step 1 okay express v0 in terms of v1 and v2 okay express v0 in terms of in terms of v1 and v2 later v1 and v2 are going to be replacing with vc plus vd by 2 and vc minus vd by 2 then you are going to be uh, <coughs> do some mathematical manipulation that all uh, similar terms are going to be taken together such that you are going to be writing expression in terms of v0 is equal to ad vd plus ac vc from this one you are identifying ad and ac terms then you are going to be getting a ratio of AD by AC as CMRR. So to get this one, we know ideal differential amplifier. Okay, virtual shot is going to be existing. So virtual shot concept is going to be exist for ideal app amp. That says that when always the voltage at inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal is going to be always same, which specifies that one VA and VA over here. So now KCL at KCL Kitchoff's current law at non inverting node, non inverting terminal is going to be specifying VA minus V2, VA minus V2 divided by 1 is equal to divided by 1 plus VA divided by 100 is equal to 0. So from this one you can write it as VA is equal to 100 divided by 101 into V2 this is the equation 1 you can express VA in terms of V2 as 100 divided by 101 <coughs> next step 2 that is KCL again it is not step 2 directly you can say KCL at KCL at inverting node now inverting 
node kcl at inverting node you can write it as va minus v1 by 1 plus va minus plus va minus v out that is v naught divided by 90 is equal to 0 so from this one if you simplify you are going to get this equation as 91 va is equal to v naught plus 90 times of v1 now express VA in terms of V2 such that okay 91 times of 100 by 101 times of V2 is equal to V0 plus 90 times of V1 so now V1 and V2 are going to be replaced with these equations V1 is VC plus VD by 2 V2 is VC minus VD by 2 so after simplification you are going to get okay substitute v1 and v2 these equations next you are going to get this v0 is equal to finally you are going to get 10 by 101 times of vc minus okay instead of minus you can write as plus plus 9 minus 9095 minus 9095 divided by 101 times of VD this you will get as a final one so from this one you can identify AD is equal to AD is equal to this much AD is equal to minus 9095 divided by 101 minus sign is 180 degrees phase shift between output and input and AC is equal to 10 by 101 and from this one you can write it as CMRR is equal to AD by AC that is nothing but and here CMRR is going to be indicated with modulus we are interested in only magnitude CMRR is equal to 909.5 around so that implies nothing but it is approximately equal to 900 according to our answer so CMRR of the given amplifier is nothing but 900 for this question. Okay, the right answer for this question is C. Thank you.